guys and welcome back to the family fudge and welcome to another week of lunch inspiration this time i'm sharing toddler lunch ideas so stay tuned if you're new here my toddler's name is griffin and he's almost two and sometimes he's a picky eater and sometimes he's not. So we shall see how this week goes. Oh yes, and if you're not already, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like videos like this. Now let's get started. For Monday's lunch, I started by making a jazzed up quesadilla. It took a whole wheat tortilla, added shredded cheddar cheese and a couple of spoonfuls of pesto and then I just melted it all together. Now to go along with this, I also sliced up some watermelon and grapes. I'm also giving him some of his favorite peanut snacks. I get these at Trader Joe's. This is basically a puffed corn snack that tastes like peanut butter. Oh yes, I'm also giving him this yogurt pouch, which is a strawberry banana flavor. So right off the bat, he's reaching for his peanut snacks. He loves those. And you can see him pointing here. As he's pointing, I'm teaching him the words for these foods, and he really liked that game. Now because he loves these peanut butter snacks so much, he finished those first and then was sad that there weren't any more, and he wasn't really interested in eating any of the other food. He got really sad and pouty. And then he remembered to say please. And he's even using sign language to say please. So his dad gave him a few more and it totally turned his frown upside down. He was very happy about it. But unfortunately, he really didn't want to eat any of the fruit or much of the quesadilla on that day. He'd much rather eat snacks. On Tuesday, I went with one of his favorites, PB&J. I used some blueberry pomegranate jam and I put it on some multi-grain bread. And then I also gave him some leftover mac and cheese. He's usually a big fan of mac and cheese, so I definitely think he's gonna eat this. And then I cut up some pears. And then since cheese is his favorite food, I went ahead and added a little bit more on top of the mac and cheese. He's such a funny guy, and he's still learning how to use that spoon. Uh-oh. Now, just as I predicted, he was totally into the mac and cheese, but unfortunately, he didn't really want to eat any of the other foods. And I'm not really sure why, but this week, he ended up looking grumpy most of the time. I think lunchtime is just too close to nap time for him. For Wednesday's lunch, I started by slicing up some watermelon, which he usually loves, and then I also gave him a garlic cheese breadstick, which he'd never had before, but he usually likes bread and cheese, so I thought he would like it. And then I also gave him some leftover tortellini with pesto. Oh yes, I went ahead and cut up the tortellini a little bit smaller. Now right off the bat, he's going for the watermelon. He usually loves watermelon, but he kind of makes a mess. Now on this day, he must have been really hungry because he ended up eating all of the watermelon and all of the breadsticks. And yes, you guys, in case you're wondering, the shirt that he's wearing is a Harry Potter onesie. Moving on to Thursday, I started with one of his favorite foods, a hard-boiled egg, and I just sliced it up for him so it would be nice and easy. I also gave him some leftover Star Wars SpaghettiOs and some fruit salad. I sliced up watermelon, cantaloupe, and blueberries. He had never had SpaghettiOs before, and I think he liked them. Now sometimes with Griffin, he'll go ahead and use his spoon or his fork, 
and then other times he likes to just use his fingers. He's looking at that spaghetti because it looks like Darth Vader. This lunch was definitely a success today. He ended up eating most of his fruit salad, most of his pasta, and all of his egg. He did a really good job. Friday is up next. I started by slicing some really ripe avocado. He has been eating avocado since he was a baby and it's definitely one of his favorites. But I'm also going to give him something new today. This is a pot sticker. It's a chicken and vegetable one. I'm also giving him an apple cinnamon fig bar. And I'm going to go ahead and cut up the dumpling or the pot sticker a little bit smaller just so it's easier for him. And I also gave him a strawberry applesauce pouch. Now unfortunately on this day he was extra grumpy and tired so he wasn't very patient and didn't end up eating very much. And that's just how it goes sometimes. Now if you'd like to see even more toddler lunch ideas, you can do that by clicking on the link up here. And if you'd like to see some toddler breakfast ideas, you can click on the link down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that by hitting my face right over here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.